Hey everyone, in this video, we'll see that how we can implement stack using linked list. Let's start. The implementation of stack using linked list is very easy. So there are some parameters that we have to follow. So in linked list, you can say that head or stack. So at first we'll check that our head pointer or stack pointer is null or not. If our head pointer is null or our stack pointer is null, it means our stack is empty. If it's not null, then we'll perform the push and pop operation. So you can ask me one thing that why we'll insert at the first position. Now in stack, we follow the LIFO rule. LIFO rule means last in, first out. So we'll follow the last in, first out approach. So you can tell me one thing that in linked list, we can insert at the last position as well. Yeah, we can insert at the last position and we can remove from here also. But what about the time complexity? So if you are trying to insert anything at the last of the linked list, then the time complexity will be order of n. And if you are trying to remove anything from the last, then it will also be order of n. So it's better to reduce our code. That's why we'll insert at the first position. So the insertion at the first position of the linked list takes O of one time and the deletion also takes O of one time. So this is how we'll implement the stack using linked list. So I have my videos on that, how you can insert anything at the first position and how you can delete any element from the first position. So you just click on the I button and you can watch that video. So now we'll see that how we can insert anything at the first position of the stack. So you can see that we have defined the push function and we have some values within a stack. So at first, what we have to do, we have to create a node. I have separate video on how to create a node in a linked list. If you don't know that how to create a node in a linked list, just click on the I button and watch that video. Then we'll take the data from the user. We can take the data from the user or you can initialize that. Then what we'll do, we'll just set temp next equals to head. It means our temp will be pointing to the head node. Let's say that we have allocated this memory and when we write temp next equals to head, it means it will point here, FFF2. Now, temp will be pointing to head or you can say that stack, you can write whatever you want. You can write head or stack, whatever you want. So, then what we'll do, we'll just assign temp into head. It means our head or stack, whatever. It means our head or stack will be pointing to temp. And this is how we can insert anything at the first position of a single linked list. So what will be the updated stack? The updated stack will be this. So previously we had 8090 and now we have successfully pushed 100 into the list. So this is the updated list that we have. So this is how we can perform the push operation using linked list into stack. Now we'll see that how we can perform the pop operation into stack. So what we'll do, we'll just simply take a del pointer and let's say that we don't, let's say that we have only one values within a list. Then what we'll do, we'll just check that head next equals to equals to null or not. If our head next is equals to equals to null, then we'll just put our head into del and we'll just set our head equals to null. After that, our stack will be underflow because we don't have any value within our stack. Else what we'll do, we'll just set our head into del and we'll just move our head to head next. So if we move our head to head next, now head is pointing to this node. So you can say stack or head. Now head will be pointing to FFF2. So after deleting the element, what will be the updated stack? The updated stack will be 90. So we have only one value within a stack. So we have successfully popped 80 from our stack and currently we have 90 within our stack and at last what we'll do, we'll deallocate the memory using free. So I think these portions are clear that how we can implement stack using linked list. If you have any doubt, just write in the comment section. Now we'll go for the hands-on. So as you can see in my screen that I have declared two header files, then I have declared the structure, the structure name is stack and the nickname is node. Then we have stack as null 
and this is the create node function i have explained what is create node function in one of my video just click on the i button then this is the push function in this function we are inserting the element at the first position and in this function at first we will check that our stack is underflow or not or our list is empty or not if our list is empty then we will just print that our stack or list is empty and that is underflow else what we will do if we have only one value within our stack then we will simply set our stack as null and we will just delete the stack here if we have more than one value within our stack then we will just set del equals to stack and we will move our stack to stack next and this is a print stack function this function is only for your reference this function is not related to your stack so here we are checking the underflow condition and we are printing the data and at last you can see that i have pushed three values then i have called the print stack function then i have popped three values then i have again called the print stack function so let me compile the code let's say that we'll insert some data 100 200 300 so you can see that at first we have pushed 100 then 200 then 300 so these are the values that we have within our stack that is 300 200 100 and the number of elements in the stack is 3 now so in which order we are popping we are popping in the leaf order that is last in first out so what is the last value that we have inserted we have inserted 300 so we have popped 300 200 100 and at last we are printing that stack is empty so this is how you can implement stack using linked list now you can ask me one thing that what about counter what about the max size so we can say that our implementation of stack using linked list is infinitely finite so why i am saying infinitely finite you just click on the i button in this video i have discussed that why linked list is infinitely finite but you can do one thing you can set a counter and up to that element you can insert you just take a counter and set that as 100 200 300 or 10 whatever you want so this is how we can implement stack using linked list if you have any doubt just write in the comment section see you in the next video